when was the first time that you received money for sex work? Um, OnlyFans. Mm. That's it? OnlyFans. You yeah. never escorted? Mm-mm. When you started OnlyFans? 2019. Okay. 2019, yep. Th- that's early. Mm-hmm. Right, because OnlyFans popped off during 2016, I think, the, is the when pandemic. I remember 2017. Right, but okay, what what made you want to start an OnlyFans? Like, you finally decided you wanted to go public with your uh-huh. interests. Well, that, but I just, I kind of always had a feeling I would end up in porno somehow. Really? So you knew you just weren't in a hurry when to I was get like into 20, it. 2021, I was like, I have a feeling I'm gonna be in porno because I was a stripper. Uh uh-huh. And while you were married? Well, no, no, not while I was married. When I was a single mom. Oh, so after. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And so I just had a feeling. And so when OnlyFans started coming around and I saw these girls making this money, I was like, why not? Why not? Let's give it a try. And it was pretty, pretty decent the first few months. And then I was just like, wow, I can make this a full time gig. You already had the boobs that big? I had 1,200 cc's the first time. What do you got now? When I first, 2,000. And I want to go bigger. Bigger? Mm hmm. How did you end up at this point? Because those things are fucking straight basketballs. It looks like the No Jumper logo. <laughs> it is. I like mean, that. it's pretty close, right? <laughs> How did you decide that you wanted to go past what might be considered like a normal breast size and just go into the realm of craziness? Well, since I was little, like I said, I was super, super sexual from a young age. I just remember always having really dirty thoughts at my earliest age. And I was watching Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Jessica Rabbit really, really, really turned me on. I just remember being like, what I want to look like. And she had, she had kind of like your size boobs in yes, the show, right? very, very curvy. So I was like, hey, it's I'm hot. Latina. So let's do like a Velma, Jessica Rabbit type looking thing. Right. When you get your butt worked on? So I've had two BBLs. Oh. They didn't survive either. My fat just did not survive. It just went away. Yeah, because yeah, I go to the gym and I eat healthy and all that stuff. So the fat just burned away. But then I did implants and they accidentally ruptured while I was getting injections done to make it bigger. And I had to go in for emergency surgery to get them removed. And I had silicone up my back, down my legs, just Whoa. everywhere. And the doctor was like, I don't know how I'm going to get all of this out. Like he was telling my family, like, you need to probably start planning a funeral. I did die for about 10 seconds during the surgery. What? Wow. But I came back. Mm-hmm. So... So you and did, yes, I would do it again. I would absolutely do it again. Describe why. Because I just love that fake fuck me look. Really? I, want, I just want. You and were, everyone told me in high school and middle school that I look like I wanted to get fucked all the time. It's because I did. I just. You do have that kind of face, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. But wait, so you would rather take a chance of dying than not have a big old donk? Yeah. I guess really any girl who gets a BBL is basically in that boat because there are there's mm-hmm. a chance. I mean, you have a risk of anything. I mean, yeah. I have to say when I had my BBLs, while well, the first one I did was freaking horrible, the recovery was like the worst thing I've ever experienced. Right. And for it to go away was was fucked up. I was like, I paid all this money, right? right. I was in freaking pain for I don't know how long and now it's all gone. And the lipo was fucked up, so I went back to a different doctor, had to redo it because my lipo was fucked. And then I had to suffer again for eight weeks and then went away. Because I work out so much, you know, the fat doesn't survive. Right. It's just a waste of money. Yeah. So for me, it's like I'd rather have no butt than go through that kind of pain. Right. Yeah. Damn. It was just, it's unspeakable. Uh, my, my that's BBL, what we don't know about. Yeah. Yeah, my BBL recovery was hard because my boobs are so big and it's so hard for me to lay on my stomach. Right. And you can't sit for three weeks. Is eight weeks. weeks. I couldn't sit for it's eight weeks three. because I had a revision. So revisions mm. are way worse, right? But but your butt is still really big. What is in there right now? Right now, nothing. I don't have anything. That's in there natural, now. or it's still. Skin. Oh, okay. I have a little bit of like injections left, but I lost my implants. I lost the injections that I had done. So I'm gonna get it fixed. I just need to recover first. Wow. Recover all the way, anyways. That's amazing. My now, hero. Yeah. Now, when are your, I guess, people from back home or parents or the Mormon community? What, what, when did they discover you were doing porn? So I actually left Mormonism before I even did porn just because I i don't know how much you guys know about it, but I found out. It's bullshit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to be kind. And I still love I, I have so many family members that are still Mormon. I have friends that are Mormon and I love them. I just hate Mormonism because of what it did. It really fucked with my mind. I really did think I was going to go to hell for liking girls and for liking cock as much as I do. 
Wow. And it, it just, it really fucks with your mind. And so I left long before, like, I took my, my name out so that I'm not considered Mormon anymore. Like, I'd have to get rebaptized if I ever believed in it again, which, to be fair, I was born into it, so I didn't know anything better. I'm like, if they would have came to me and I know what I know now, there's no way they would have gotten me. I was born into it. Right. You pretty much and, have and to. And you be. have, you yeah. know, you have your family, your friends, you got all these people you love and trust telling you this is true, this is true, this is true. So you really believe it's true. So I, I was brainwashed. It's not, it's like picking a favorite sports team. It's uh-huh. like, you know, nobody wakes up one day at like 35 and they're like, mm-hmm. you know what? I love the Jets. Yeah. The same way that it's like very few people are 35 and they're like, you know what? Out of all these stories about how the world came together, I'm going to go with Islam. Mm hmm. Yeah, now it's like pretty much if you aren't born into it, it's very unlikely that you're going to latch onto it. Right? I mean, there are people yeah. who who do do it because they get married into it, you know. That's mm-hmm. bullshit that the spouse... too. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you fake joining a religion to just yeah, get not, some sort yeah, of societal benefit, I guess yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But I have friends who actually became Muslim after m- marrying a a guy who was Muslim. Yeah. And she took her titties out. Everything. It was sad. sad and then she see. put she. Put her titties away and became yeah, Muslim. Yeah, but then she stopped being Muslim and put her titties back in. So, you know, all. it's all. It's <laughs> it's the nature of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So, what? What is, have you done, you've done real porn or no? Just OnlyFans. Okay, and you're doing all the filthy shit on there. Mm-hmm. Like what? Tell us the craziest shit you've done on camera. What's the craziest shit I've done on camera? So far, because it's it's hard to get guys that do OnlyFans to find guys in that Utah. Do OnlyFans. Yeah, I'm still looking for somebody to peg. That's what I would love to do. I've done. No. <laughs> I've I love eating ass. I'll, I'll eat. I love eating woman ass. I love eating man ass. You eat his ass? Oh, I, if you let me. Yes, really? I saw I saw it's you walking you, by. I know, right? You know, I have a dump. I love ass. It's, you got a donk donk. Wait, so will you let me shit on you? Shit on me. Um. Probably not. I'll pay you. I'm not. I'll in, give you money. If you if you pay me, that's completely different. Five but. grand for him to just defecate on those boobs. Oh, Jesus Christ! For for OnlyFans, let's do it. <laughs> oh wow! No, you can't put that on OnlyFans though. <laughs> they won't let you. Yeah, they get upset. Wait, but so you're telling me that if you were going to eat Flacco's ass and it was like an impenetrable fortress because it's muscle, it's fat, it's everything, it's hair, and you just were like, like you just you'd wade through the jungle like you were in Nam to get through to his butthole just so that you could tongue it as down. As long as it's clean, yeah, I'll, I'll eat No, it's not. It's, oh, not. it's not. No, clean? it's filthy. No, my butthole's clean, and also too. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I my know, butthole's clean, clean. <laughs> right? I do shave the unlike clean. Adam. Mm-hmm. I, I got I got my ass licked by a girl on Plug Talk the other day, and she said that my ass was too hairy. Uh, but I don't. I, I, don't I mean, I I think a guy should have a little hair. You know, I like hair. It's healthy. Men. Yeah. What do you expect of me? That I'm gonna, I'm in there with tweezers every yeah, day, just grooming my butthole. This is insane. This isn't reality. No, it's Ooh. not. One of my biggest crushes growing up was Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. When he pulls his mm. shirt open, he's got all that hair. I love hair. Oh, now man. we have Beast Cut. Okay, guys, this was a clip from the No Jumper Patreon. If you want to watch it in full, where they get naked and all this other crazy stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash nojumper and check it out in full. We drop a new one every week.